Good afternoon, hope everybody is doing well. I had to do this one over again because somehow the video was upside down. So yeah, forget that noise. Um, so just came back from my uh, local Pep Boys and got the four new tires. So the shaking sensation I had has disappeared as of now. Um, and we're back to riding around like normal. So still have to wait to see what the outcome of what Nissan is going to say as far as the vehicle. Um, I know that somebody used to follow up on here a while ago. They since changed their changed their channel channel name, but it used to be uh, there was a couple of other people up on here who subscribed to one another, and they all had the Titan. So there's a couple of other people. There's another guy he used to go by the name of Gerbit. For those of you guys that remember uh, the infancy of that channel. Uh, got rid of the Titan and it ended up being a complete POS for him and he I think he ended up going with the uh, Ram Cummins but we'll see um, you know just getting another vehicle like that and just going to something new just because uh, if they do not come back and do anything to uh, fix the issue then I may have to consider trading it in but if they do Maybe we will uh, just pass the church here. Maybe we will have to uh, consider maybe getting something uh, newer, should I say. Like I said, I was looking at the Tundras. I'm doing more research on them. Uh, I've heard uh, been a couple of horror stories of motors already having to be replaced at less than, well, less than a few thousand miles due to it having that uh, twin servo uh, V6. Don't know how true that is. You know, who knows? People probably doing all these upgrades or somebody, you know, it may be self-caused. Who knows? So I got to do my own uh, research and uh, my own uh, due diligence because people can say whatever. So we will see. <clears throat> and making a financial decision like that as far as like uh, changing a vehicle is definitely one of those... Uh, that's a big financial uh, choice to make, you know. Plus, I'm so close to uh, finishing on my tour here. This will be the last one, so I'm not trying to uh, incur any unnecessary uh, debt. But with the market the way it is, you have people with 16s, 17s, and 18s that are getting astronomical amounts of money for their vehicle. So that may be a plus plus situation depending you know so uh seeing that there is a shortage to the chip shortage everybody should know about that by now and if you haven't heard of it you know i guess all these uh, uh electronic chips there's a shortage of them so now that's making the price of used vehicles go up A lot of dealers aren't holding inventory either so if it's in that day it's pretty much gone the same day and people that are looking for the new uh new toyota tundras or f-150s or rams or whatever uh, they're pretty much ordering these things from the factory they're coming in and they're gone really quick uh, and sometimes the turnaround for this can be up to three months you know, anywhere from one to three months or four, maybe even longer. So, we will see. Like I said, I have owned this thing for six years, so since it was brand new. And I pretty much did all of the maintenance on this thing, so I took care of it. Uh, I even got uh, more oil changes than the necessary. So if I was gone for a little bit or a few months, I'd come back, get an oil change or whatnot, even though it was a uh, even though it was like two or three months or whatever, because I wanted the thing to last. So you buy a vehicle like this, you buy it for it to last. You don't buy it to, uh, you know, to, to just give it up. Unless you, know, you see a newer model and stuff like that. But I've seen people that would have been normally upside down on a vehicle and ended up uh, pretty much not being upside down with the current 
current climate the way it is with uh, availability of vehicles and whatnot. So um, that's just some of those things you have to look at. And just buying a vehicle like that just because I think it's uh, irresponsible just to just to go buy a vehicle um, without necessarily having to go buy one. So uh, people should be doing more uh, more responsible financial decisions, you know. I think as being ahead of a family, you know, if you're you know, a father, you should be doing uh, financial decisions because anything that you're going to do is going to affect others, right? Especially your children, right? But uh, if they do hold up their end of the deal and um, just decide to fix all the things, all right, absolutely, you know. Um, maybe I'll hold on to her for a little bit. But this thing is, is almost paid off. I About maybe seven months ago, I got offered like up to 45 for it. So who knows? That may be a viable option, you know. It may be a good option to go ahead and trade it in before anything major does happen and go wrong with it, you know. Because if you take and look at, okay, this is what I'm being offered, but what happens if you have to end up putting more repairs? So, like I was told, the EGR was about three grand in repairs. The uh, transfer case, four, four grand in repairs. That's a lot. That's a lot of money to just go ahead and just sh shell over uh, for repairs. Then at that point, it would be just be more viable just to train it in because it just it just makes sense. So, someone was telling me about looking at the Rams. I saw in the comments from my previous videos that I had made, and I probably will do that. I will look at the Rams and uh, Rams and all of the other offerings, not just you know imports or whatever. Um, now the modern XD with the 5.6. Not too. Uh, not too sure if it's any similar to the uh, old 5.6s, like the first gen. I know the 04, 05 uh, 5.6s had uh, manifold issues. Uh, my particular uh, 04 Titan was an SE. And it was an SE with, yeah, the 5.6. It was two-wheel drive. I bought that with over 100,000 miles, and that thing is still running today. So, who knows? Uh, seems like once Nissan changed over to Nissan North America, it's like certain aspects of quality, it appears like it just went downhill from there. It appears, right? Uh, please do your math and do your own research as well. Um, so, we'll see. I'll keep you guys posted. Next thing is not really a boat rebuild, but more like uh, you got a new boat, which is not really a new boat, but new to me. Um, that will be the next video. All right, later.